Hello, welcome to Grant Writing 101, video 5 of 5, Reporting the Successful Grant Project. My name is Jeffrey Tan and I'm a theatre director, drama educator and creative producer who is based in Singapore. We've come to the end of the Grant Writing 101 series of 5 bite-sized videos commissioned by the National Arts Council and developed by the Singapore Drama Educators Association. I wrote the scripts based on my experiences with grants and I will be your guide in the videos. These five videos are to help independent artists or collectives apply for grants or residencies locally or internationally. In video one, we looked at understanding the grant context. In video 2, we looked into managing the grant timeline. In video 3, we focused on preparing the CV, biography and references. In video 4, we dived into writing the budget and grant application. In this last video 5, we will wrap up with reporting the successful grant project. The two big sections of this last video will deal with reporting and relationship building. What is reporting? Reporting in grants project management simply refers to providing a high-level overview that offers the critical data the grant project generates in a simple, easy-to-use format. Project reporting is essential to project management success since it provides a window for the entire team into what's happening and what to do about it. A report is usually written for a specific audience. It must always be accurate and objective. When you are given a grant, you have to make sure that the project deliverables are met. Always update the panel if you face challenges in meeting your KPIs as it could affect your funding. Do not only update them on the challenges you are facing at the end of the project. Funders are generally not as understanding if they are not given the opportunity to help advise or keep the project on track. Some funders might even recover the grant funding if you don't spend or deliver what you have said you will. Plan early for data collection. Think of what you need. Draft the questions. Work out a suitable plan to gain data and insights. Data is best gathered in the form of surveys. You may need to build your surveys early before the project starts if you are planning to use this data to support your closing report. For example, some grants may need you to provide unique contact details of the participants or audiences. So you need to plan early on how you might gather this data. Will you need a pre, mid and end project survey to trace the changes or shifts of the participants? Online survey forms offer you easy to use templates and they can generate graphs for easy reading. For example, what information will you need? Name, age, race, percentage of people who like the show or the exhibition, gender profile, quotes of audience's experience. Think about how you will count your audience. Will you use a clicker, a visual estimate, if it's a digital presentation, be sure to include digital analytics. Some grant might require a midterm project report. Some of the items you may need to include are the creation process, travel research, and work plan schedule. Some residencies may require the resident artist to make a mid-project presentation. Post-project report Some categories for the final report 
sharing your evaluation and reflections on your project. It is always good to go back to your grant objectives, outcomes, assessment criteria, and key performance indicators. Artistic aspirations. How have you achieved the artistic goals set out in your plan? Is the work result as you had envisioned? What is your assessment of the quality of the work that you have created? Artistic process, artistic development. In what ways has the creation process contributed to your growth as an artist? What are some discoveries and new methodologies that have emerged as a result of this process? What challenges did you meet along the way? And how did you overcome them? External consultation. Was the feedback given constructive and useful for improving your work? If so, how was the feedback incorporated? If not, why not? If your project deals with public engagement, what was your audience's feedback on your work? And how did your work resonate with them? Your audience includes anyone who attended your mini showcase and anyone whom you shared the work with during the creation process. How did you consider or incorporate the views and ideas of your audiences and the artistic community, if applicable? Post-creation plans. How do you intend to produce, present, and market your work to a larger audience? Have you pitched your work to presenters, producers, publishers, literary agents? What was their response? Feedback on the ground. Are there any areas in which the funder could have better supported your creation process? Balancing the budget Excel. Explaining the variables under remarks. Identifying and keeping your receipts neatly. They may be requested for audit purposes as part of grant reporting. Label your claims and list as annexes chronologically. Photocopy all receipts before they fade, especially for taxis or restaurants. Make sure that you have dates and names indicated clearly. Reporting the key performance indicators. Be ready to produce proof of how you arrived at the final figures. Reporting achievements. For performances and exhibition, share the number of performances and exhibition days, the total audience, the number of tickets sold, the percentage of house, the number of new works created, and number of volunteers engaged. If you've printed catalogues for exhibition, how many copies were produced? How many copies were sold? If it was a community participation project, how many activities did you hold? What was the total audience? What was the total number of participants? And under qualitative KPIs, what was the experience of the participants? What was the experience of the audience? Do you have press coverage, reviews, social media reports? All these factors will affect your grant application process. Compile a list of news reports. Make sure you have the date, title, the links, and the number of views. How will you capture the qualitative data? What evidence will you produce? Are there quotes from participants and quotes from audiences? Do the pictures capture the engagement of the participants? Do the videos capture the vibrancy of the event or the exhibition or the performance? Any impressive or unexpected survey findings? What were the learning points? Be succinct when writing about what you've learned from the grant project. 
Remember, SMART, be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Next steps. Moving forward, what are your plans? Is there an afterlife for the project? Can you demonstrate sustainability for your project? And finally, relationship building. Please don't forget to close the loop with partners who have supported you. Don't forget to thank the grant organisations. Keep in contact and maintain your professional network because the end of a grant does not mean the end of that relationship. You may want to stay in their minds because when other grant opportunities arise, they'll remember you. If you're not successful with the grant applications, it is natural to feel rejected and depressed. Do not take the rejection too personally. Grants are competitive. Sometimes your project is not ready for the grant. Or it might be too progressive and the grant panel feels that you're not ready to achieve what you said you would do. Maybe your grant proposal was not as clear as what you imagined. Regardless of the reason for rejection, you can always write in for grant feedback. However, take note that not all grant organisations will reply or reveal the reason for rejecting your grant. How do you handle grant rejections? Well, you know, if you can learn something from your grant writing experience or the application process, it's good. Reflect and ask yourself, what did you not do so well this round? Was it too last minute? Move on from the rejection and try again in the following grant cycle. Make sure you edit and tailor each grant application. Never submit the exact same grant application to another organization. Thank you for watching all five Grant Writing 101 videos. I would like to thank the National Arts Council and the Singapore Drama Educators Association for this opportunity to share my Grant Writing 101 experience. I hope that you have gained more confidence to tackle the grant applications. Please, let us know if the five bite-sized videos have been helpful. Good luck with your grant applications!